Welcome back. It's been nearly two years in the making, but though it's not quite good to go, Bitwise Industries' colorful new Bakersfield headquarters is ready for its close-up. The Bitwise folks gave 17 News an exclusive introductory tour today, and our Robert Price was there for a glimpse of an exciting new addition to this place where we live. You've heard of Revenge of the Nerds, computer geeks who become cool once school's out. Well, there's nothing nerdy about the newest digitally driven business on 18th Street. It's Bitwise Industries, and if this business could have a personality, it would be an extrovert, one of the cool kids. It's written all over its face. Bitwise's psychedelic exterior practically jumps out and introduces itself. But on Wednesday, the company showed off its inside, too. Private offices, co-working spaces, classrooms, Zoom booths, kickback areas, a tap room, a backyard patio. Who says programmers and code writers live solitary lives? Bitwise, based in Fresno and now in Bakersfield, looks about as collaborative and interactive an experience as one can find these days. Bitwise Vice President Amy Thielen, the company's senior officer in Bakersfield, says Bitwise's goal for the Kern County workforce are nothing short of transformative. She said the days of local companies and institutions farming out web design and data integration jobs should soon be over. For every one tech job you add in a community, there's four additional supporting jobs needed for that. So we want the money pouring back into our community. Um, you know, I've talked to people at the chamber, people up the city. For a long time, they were outsourcing technology projects. For example, uh, website redesign or data integration or building an app for them, right? And so. Bitwise, after you take our classes, we have a tech consulting business. Oftentimes those students go into tech consulting and they, they land their first job. Um, and they build websites for businesses or the you know public institutions or whatever it might be. But point is that that money can come right back into our economy. The Turks building, as for now they're calling 1701 18th Street, is 98% finished with only cosmetic touches remaining. So what's the holdup? Thielen says some tenants are already in place, but as for the public grand opening, they're waiting for the pandemic to recede in a sufficiently satisfactory way. Until then, it's limited occupancy and masks all around. The other half of Bitwise's foray into Bakersfield, the Vincent's Building, as it's called for the time being, will be ready for occupancy perhaps by spring 2022, subject to the same restrictions. That half of the enterprise will be primarily classrooms. And in between, the Porterfield Hotel. Maybe that's a story for another day. This stretch of downtown Bakersfield was one of the city's liveliest long before Bitwise decided to move in and make it livelier. The pandemic changed all that, but post-pandemic, whenever that might be, that's another story. The promise that Bitwise offered two years ago is starting to look more and more realistic. In downtown Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News. Pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. An update on the French